Oh, it gets below yeah, 40 and I'm frozen. Frozen solid, yeah. <laughs> we're looking really good out on our roadways this morning, but weather-wise, it looks like we're going to have maybe, I don't know if we call it a heat wave, but maybe we can in January. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, certainly, a temperature is a lot warmer than what we have been seeing, a lot warmer than what we're used to over the past several days. And uh, as we take a look up north, and we've been talking about this uh, powerful nor'easter, this is a live look from New York City. This is Little Italy, and uh, I believe you'll see a car here passing right by. You can see that snow snow on the ground. Again, they uh, saw several inches of snow and again near whiteout conditions. As you can see, the snow has stopped falling there, but it will be very cold over the next several days. Again, a high staying in the single digits up toward New York City and parts of New England. Here in Tulsa, though, things are looking pretty good and calm from our Air Comfort Solutions downtown camera. We've got mostly clear skies out there. Closest uh, cloud cover down to our south and far uh, northern parts of Texas. That's, and that's where it will stay over the next few hours. But we will start to see more cloud cover arriving from the northwest as we head through the afternoon and evening. But Really, as we head through today, it's going to remain fairly sunny. It's a, certainly a frigid start this morning, though. 17 degrees in Broken Arrow, 18 in Bixby, 21 right now up in Claremore, 13 the cold spot in Bartlesville. It is 14 degrees in Tahlequah. So make sure you're prepared for the cold this morning. It's certainly a frigid start, dressing in layers, bundling up again. We know the drill by now. Off to our north and east, so that's where the really cold air is centered. It is zero in Chicago, four below in Detroit and again it's going to stay cold up there for the next several days. Winds are fairly light this morning and they'll stay light as we head throughout the day, but it is just enough to give us a bit of a wind chill. Right now it feels like 12 degrees in the Muskogee area. So we stay sunny throughout most of today and those clouds start to arrive from the northwest as we head through the evening hours. It will stay fairly cloudy for your Saturday, but dry and fairly warm with highs near 50 once again. As we head towards Sunday morning, that's when the rain starts to arrive. This is about 730 in the morning on Sunday. The rain moves across and then moves out as we head towards Sunday night into early Monday morning. And it looks like it could provide us with some beneficial rainfall in some areas. It looks fairly widespread, so most areas will see rain Sunday, about an 80% chance. Here in the Tulsa area, it could pick up a little bit more than a quarter of an inch, getting closer toward a half of an inch of rainfall as you head down towards southeastern Oklahoma. So in the next few hours, 43 by noon, 49 will be our afternoon high by 3 o'clock. Maybe some lower 50s down to the south today with light northerly winds. The next several days look fairly nice into the 40s for Saturday. There's that chance of rain Sunday. How about mid to upper 50s as we head toward midweek next week? That's a look.